Hi everybody and welcome to this week's episode of Mighty Lube's Question of the Week. My name is John Wigan. I am a professional sales engineer for Mighty Lube and Opco. And we're going to, today's topic is conveyor manufacturers commonly list a certain percentage of wear in order to replace their chain. The two questions that we have today is one, what is the way that each one of your plants measure elongation or wear on your conveyor chains and two is what is your established percentage of wear in order to replace that chain now in today's presentation i'll be discussing a certain type of conveyor chain called x series and the example that i'm going to be using is an x458 chain or commonly known as eight inch pitch now if conveyor manufacturers publish that they typically would like to see a replacement chain at 3%, we're going to show you how we come about the two methods of measuring chain. One is a manual measurement and two is either with a portable or a permanent monitoring system. Now, first of all, we're going to talk about the manual measurement. Now, it is a 10-foot measurement, and what I have up here on the, the uh, whiteboard is an example of a 10-foot section of 8-inch pitch chain. And I know that on 8-inch pitch chain and 10-foot, we will have 15 lengths, okay? So what you do is you put a, a tape measure or folding rule on this pin, you stretch it, and you see where you lie on the 15 lengths. Okay, and when we did this in a uh, customer's facility, we found that it actually was 10 foot three and three quarter inches. Now, in order to establish what that percentage of wear is per length, what you do is you take this measurement, which was three and three quarter, and you divide it by the number of lengths, which is 15, and we came up with 0.25 inches of wear average per link. Now, if 3% is the standard from conveyor manufacturers, this chain had actually exceeded 3%. Now, remember, conveyor chain will wear unevenly throughout the length. So a drawback to just doing a manual measurement is if this chain is 1,300 feet long and you only randomly pick a 10 foot or 20 foot section, that chain actually has 1,950 lengths. So you don't get a very good overall condition of what the chain percentage of elongation of wear is. Plus you have to stop the chain, you gotta lock it out, you gotta physically measure it, you gotta record it, then you move the chain it's, it's more of a safety issue or time because it must be done either during a shutdown or on a work stoppage. Now, the second most common way to measure chain stretch or elongation is with either a portable or a permanent monitoring system. Now, this is Mighty Loops portable monitoring system. It clamps on top of the conveyor, can be moved from conveyor to conveyor, and basically what it does is it records each link and the percentage of wear, and it records a 10 foot wear percentage of wear also. Plus, it gives you an overall average of your wear of the chain, and it gives you a replacement cost or placement footage of what is needed to replace that chain that's over your parameters that you set. It also will list out each link individually and list out your 10 foot wear. The drawback versus the permanent versus the portable is the time or the frequency that you do for your chain analysis. Typically it's done on a monthly PM, can be done on a uh, biannual or an annual PM. The the permanent monitoring system will do the same as the portable where you're recording links and 10 foot wear data, 
but it does it on real time. So you don't have to stop the conveyor to do it. It's running all of it, and you can run multiple conveyors at a time off the permanent system. Our permanent monitoring system is called the Next Generation. It is a industrial 4.0 tool, and if you want more uh, information on that, I request or recommend that you go onto our website at www.mightylube.com and click on the monitoring tab. If you need any further information or have any further questions, please reach out to us at www.mightylube.com and click on the monitoring tab. I appreciate your time today and thank you for supporting Mighty Lube and Odd Cold products. God bless and have a good day.